Welcome back to another video. It's me, Adam. You're watching Unlimited Options Investing. In this video, we're going to be talking about a lot of very interesting things that are happening in the market, highlighted by Tesla soaring through the roof based on a tweet that they're going to be holding a vote for additional shares for a potential stock split. So we've got that to talk about as well as crypto. Bitcoin finally broke through our resistance that we wanted to get through at 46,000. We'll be talking about that. Let's get started. Before I do, if you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. Hit that subscribe button, smash that like button. Not to mention, take a look at the description. I linked my Twitter, my Instagram, and my TikTok, so check it out. All right, so starting off with the heat map of the S&P 500, one of these things are not like the other. Very green, very bright. We have Tesla up 7.76%, putting it at $1,090 per share. And with Tesla stock, as we've talked before on the channel, it tends to trade in every $50. So key areas of support and resistance being every $50. So 950, 1000, 1050, and 1100. So right now that we're hovering right below 1100 isn't necessarily surprising. Once we break through that one, then we can look at the next $50, which would be 1150. In addition to Tesla, we have another couple of names uh, of big tech, Amazon and Microsoft, both up uh, over 1%. Otherwise, Google, Facebook, Nvidia, or Nvidia, AMD, Apple, pretty much break even sideways on the day so far. Looking around energy, which has been the uh, the trade of the past six months, uh, red today, but this one being very volatile, again, with all the macroeconomics that are going on right now. Banks and financials looking pretty red with Visa and MasterCard pretty sideways on the day. All right, and heading on over to the coinmarketcap.com. Number one, we have Bitcoin up 15% over the past week, up 6% over the last 24 hours, to put it right now at 47435 we look at the last seven days at this mini chart and we see the breakthrough yesterday of $46,000 and we're continuing to find strength. Similar, we have Ethereum just below 3,400, which is another very key resistance area that Ethereum has to pass to continue finding strength, up 15.44% in the past week and up 6% over the past 24 hours. So, so Bitcoin and Ethereum trading very similar, both on the 24 hours and the past seven days. And scrolling down, you see green throughout crypto, Cardano, XRP, Solana, Polkadot, Dogecoin, Shiba Inu, Kronos, that's all going up right now. And taking a look, for example, at Shiba Inu, this one going straight up over, over the past few hours. All right, so the first chart we're going to take a look at, of course, is going to be Tesla stock. And look at this gap up from Friday's close. So we had Doji, Doji candle the past few days, and then we had a big gap up today, again, based on that tweet. Where we closed just above 1,000 at 10.10. And then gapping up today to 1065 now gap ups aren't always the healthiest thing it's something like 90 percent of the time the gaps fill but what better example do we have than tesla itself from back in october of 2021 we had a big gap up before the run-up from about 900 to about 950 and then it took a few months but then eventually it filled in the gap and obviously super volatile but at the time it looked like tesla was going to run away all the FOMO comes into the market and then lo and behold, we fill in the gap and then we went very well below that. And so the moral of the story, don't necessarily get FOMO from a gap up because they often fill, but again, not necessarily. Just because 90% of the time they do fill, what if this is that 10%? So you, you really never know. It depends on what your attention is. Are you trading? Are you investing? And, and then making your decision from there. All right, next up, taking a look at crypto. This one also gapping up on the daily time frame. We see a cross of the 20 and the 50 EMAs. And again, that $46,000 mark was that huge area of resistance we had to cross. Why? We had resistance, resistance, big support, and a ton of consolidation in this area in the past. We finally have a reason to get excited back about Bitcoin and likely the rest of the crypto market. Again, we were looking for something like this and then seeing the rest of crypto fall not too far behind it. And likewise, looking at Ethereum, looking very healthy and very strong, the 20 and the 50 just crossing. And for me, the 3400, which is exactly where we are right now, another very key area, but looks like we're gaining a lot of strength. Previous resistance, resistance, support, area of consolidation. So in my opinion, when it comes to Ethereum, the next level looking around 3800. And what we can do is we can draw a line uh, at this area, to, which also makes sense because we knew the $3,000 mark was going to be just psychologically, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, and then the next one where we are now at 3,400. The, the difference between both of them being $400, so the next one would be 3,800 for a 200. 
and so on. And heading back to Bitcoin, so we now want to see this $46,000 mark hold. And if it's able to do that, the next area would be around where this blue line is over here, just below 54,000, where we found previous resistance, support, resistance. And lastly, we'll take a look at the indices, starting off with the S&P 500, the SPY. We've seen a lot of strength over the past few weeks. Session after session, we were having green, 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 indecision, green, red, green, green. We're above both the 20 and the 50, and it looks like they're both going to be uh, crossing over very soon, at least on the daily time frame. And we're around a pretty critical area right now if we draw a line. Lining up near an area where we had previous resistance, supports, support, and resistance. If we're able to find some kind of continued strength and then find support on where we are right now, again, creating previous resistance into new support, that would be very positive for the price action. However, if the bears do step up, the sellers step up, and we have a little bit of a pullback, we would want to see some kind of support on the dynamic moving averages so on the 20 and the 50, and then continue finding strength one step back, two steps forward. And likewise, the NASDAQ on the daily time frame looking very similar to the S&P 500, but just more, for lack of a better word, intense because the highs are higher and the lows are lower. Similar situation, we found a lot of strength over the last couple of weeks. The 20 and the 50 look like they're going to be crossing. We're seeing a lot of strength, but again, a key area we're going to be looking for is around, let's say, the 363, 65, more or less in this key area. Again, previous resistance, we have a few touches over here, support and consolidation support in this area. And really, both the NASDAQ and the S&P 500 are very heavily weighted toward big technology, so they do trade very similar, but of course they have their differences with the S&P 500 holding sectors like financials and energy. All right, and that's the end of my video. Thank you very much for watching. As always, let me know your comments below. What are your thoughts on Tesla, on crypto? Are things going to continue flying or are we going to have a little bit of a setback, a minor pullback, a major pullback? Let me know in the comments below. As always, subscribe, like, check out the YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok, and I'll see you in the next video.